This piece. Thanks for tuning in and listening. This is Deborah. Not Deborah. That's my real name, Deborah. But Deba. I was trying to get an African name, but I wanted to keep it close to my uh, birth name that they gave me. Thirsty. So I wanted to keep it close. But it's not African, it's more Arabic. But long as it ain't European, I didn't want to use that. <laughs> Definitely. I wish I had known to uh, get a name change. I would have. I would have. But it's too late. So, shit. AKA Diva Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and listening. At the end of the video, like, share, leave a comment. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Much obliged. This is called Mellow Out by Ghost Stra Rifter. Ghost Rifter. Mellow Out. I like it. I like it. Hey, it's Friday and it's 6.04 p.m. But here, listen to this, Pariah. I got this from a movie. The movie was called Pariah, okay? And it's like an open mic. Heartbreak opens onto the sunrise for even breaking is opening. And I am broken. I am open broken to the new light without pushing in, open to the possibilities within, pushing out, see the love shining through my cracks, see the light shine out through me, I am broken, hey, I am open, I am broken open, see the love light shining through me, shining through my cracks, through the, through the gaps, my spirit takes journey. My sweet takes flight. My spirit takes flight. Could not have risen otherwise. And I am not running, I am choosing. Running is not a choice from the breaking. Breaking is freeing. Broken is freedom. I am not broken. I am free. God damn it. Free. And that's how I'm going to finish about when I, my son passed away. That was the beginning of me being broken. This piece is called Welcome Traveler. And it's artificial music. Fake artificial music but yeah the beginning of my journey of being awakened it started seven years ago when my son passed away and his friend that was driving riding with him I have to carry that so don't think you want to be somebody else or be jealous or envying somebody because you don't know what they carry <laughs> you don't know you know, everything that you see, you know, you see with your eyes, you remember it, but you don't know the depth of that person. So I was broken seven years ago. I was a Christian doing fine on my way to heaven, you know, just feeling good about my Christianity and being a child of the most high God and all of that. They call him the most high, so I called him the most high. So who are they talking about? My brothers and sisters. They talk heavy shit to me and I listen and then they'll say the most high. I still don't know who they talking about. I wish they would explain that to me. I mean, they talk about all the atrocities that black people have went through by ourselves. Never no help. And then while they talking and explaining this and teaching and lecturing and professing it, not all our teachers and lecturing professor, but on YT. And then they'll say the good Lord or the most high. Who is this? 
or the creator oh. who has done anything for us who I really truly want to know I am so serious I'm not joking or laughing because I was a Christian for 38 years but getting back to me being broken seven years ago after my son passed I had to go through all that experience and a young lady told me on my Facebook page she's sweet I call her daughter she said appreciate everything that you went through because it made you who you are you needed that I had to go through all that because I went through a lot my mother passed when I was 11 shit so I call me a warrior I'm a soldier too mean it works for me but being broken and so the pain was so bad my heart literally broke I had to get a defibrillator to keep it beating that's how bad my heart that was called spending time on us by artificial music this is titled sundown drive by ghost drifter again the pain was so deep my heart starts slowing down. Your ejection fraction in your heart is supposed to be 55. 55 ejection fraction. Mines went down to 35, then 25, then 17. I was doing a good job. My heart was so broken. I was grieving so hard. I wanted to be with my son. I was on my way. Grief will kill you. All these mothers, I know what they're going through. I'm thinking about, um, who's that actor that played in this cowboy movie? movie? Her son is Al Ian Alexander Jr. What's her name? King. What's her name? It'll come to me. I can't think right now. But, her son self-concluded. Damn, god damn. You know you're gonna take the blame and the hurt. You take it all because you're not gonna blame your child for nothing. You sorry for every fucking thing you did wrong. So you take it all. All of it. All of it. It's gonna be your fault. You're gonna you're gonna make it your fault. You're going to. I did. And it crushed my heart. No prison, no joke. But after that, something else came through. Through my family that crushed me because I had been living a lie for 63 years. <sighs> On top of my son's death. <sighs> oh. Okay. And then, so, I got away from religion because there was no God for me, nowhere. All those years when I needed a God the most, never was there. And that was the ultimate test that what I was feeling all those 38 years was true. There is no God. I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost that you feel is just the electricity in our body and, and the hope that we have that he's coming and the organ playing. That's all that shit is. We are magnificent beings. We are creator. We, we create our own dance and feeling and, and shit. We take it to the extreme. Black folks, we do that. But then there was nothing for me when my son died. Nothing. Zero. I was running into the walls. No fucking help. From nowhere. It was silence. Crickets. And I thought I had a relationship with him. I was a Jesus only person. But get back to. Um, and then I just started. Because I had left the church. I was able to listen to the truth. Oh this next song is called Cruising. Verdrell, I'm going to end it here. 
and, and just start reading my notes. But I'm going to end it. But um, I learned about African history over here. I didn't know anything. And then I had to have flashbacks about how it was in elementary school. They didn't teach us anything about black people, not in junior high or high school. I graduated with a sixth grade education. They didn't teach me. So I was mad about that. That's three damn things. I'm pissed off now. Angry. School. Family. Death of my son. Church. That's four things. Okay, let's go to the next. Um, it's the next quote. My last day without you. The, my last day without you. And then the next one is feel my pain. The next one is courage is doing what you are afraid to do. There can be no courage unless you're scared. And they purposely are killing people, making them fearful and scared. People are losing their homes, people. People are losing their homes being put out in the streets with children. What happened to ADC, aid to dependent children? How can children register for school if they don't have an address? What is Child Protective Services doing in social services, welfare? That's their job, the social worker, to get apartment for a person that has a child. How is a child sleeping in a car? It don't make sense and they giving 40 billion to Ukraine. 40 billion can just clean this country up. What's wrong with taking care of home where you live, sweeping, garnish your own shit, then you go outside and play? That's how I used to be. I would go out, I never had people in my house, you know, around my children and tearing up my house and shit, I went out. But you clean up your house first, do your homework first, then you go out and play. Clean up the country first. Take that lump sum and sweep through this country and fucking clean it up. Everything that's wrong. Everything that's wrong. And there's so much fucking wrong over here. I'm going to tell you. They got, uh, these Hispanics are in this sex trafficking thing. And they could catch this sex trafficking because they're in the hotels and motels across the country. Can you imagine having sex nine times a day with some funky nasty beast? And that could come in and do any fucking thing they want to you? You're only 12 years old? Sodomizing you? Sick people, you know they got sick things that they do to people. Come on now. Isn't it urgent to find these children? But they talking about stupid bullshit. It should, they should, these motherfuckers that they sending in the hood, to, to, to shoot us down. Leave us the fuck alone. If that's what we want to do, let us do it. Let us kill each other then. Fuck, what, what you there for? For the drugs and the money? Go find out where these missing children are. And kick those sex trafficker asses. Make that a big operation. Isn't this something? My music is lying with me. It is. It's a spiritual thing. Because I handpick all these songs. And this is called Chill Soul Rap Instrumental. But the beat is from Superfly. That buffoonery movie they made of a black gangster years ago. And it was about the city and drugs. And that's what the cops should do. Stop coming into the hood, taking our drugs and money. And beating and killing us. And, and, and sending us to your prisons on trumped up charges. Take your ass to your neighborhood. When are they gonna stop letting them come in and racist kill us? It's a plan, so why don't black people talk about that shit? You talking about money that they're not gonna give you. Reparations? You think they're gonna build you up? 
when they trying to kill you it doesn't make sense and I'm just talking off the top of my head I'm just shooting the breeze that's just my opinion it's not written in stone it's just me connecting the dots of what the fuck been going on here all along why would they give us money why would they do anything for us when they hate us so badly come on now gossip is the art of saying in a way that leaves practically nothing unsaid gossip is the art of saying in a way that leaves practically nothing unsaid gossip I never was into it too much. The friends I know, we didn't do that shit. We were just happy within ourselves. I don't like all that. I, I never was around no more than two people at the same time. Once it get to be three girls, I'm going home. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Can't hang around a group like that. I got to know you. You got to be solid. Uh-uh. No. You a friend of a friend of a friend? Shit, you got trouble right there. And that's how I feel about FB. I don't let everybody close to me, up on me. You can follow me, but why you want to be my friend? Follow. Because why you got to get up close? I got 75 friends. That's enough. And that's too much to keep up with. Some people want 4,999 friends. God damn it. You don't know who you got in your page. This next one is called Afraid of Expressing Myself. God damn it. By Baba Mars. I, okay. B-A-B-A-S-M-A-S. Afraid of Expressing Myself. And that's right in tune. Because I'm afraid of expressing myself on FB. Because they'll send somebody to my house. I have to use codes. I have to calm down. I have to get off of it for two days. To calm my nerves because the shit I want to say, I can't. That's a great teacher, FB. I mean, I'm learning like a big dog on there. Social media, they made a mistake. They didn't count this in. That all this knowledge was going to be so super free. You know? And they can't handle us because it's too much truth coming across social media. Years ago, they probably could have pulled this shit off. Those who wrote and gave instructions on how to fuck us up today they didn't contemplate the knowledge and the truth that would be coming through social media the internet they had no clue so this is this is hard for them to handle us that's why they building up the military and the police our sons and daughters and these animals that are killing our brothers and sisters in the street they gonna turn on us Okay, I'm going to end peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. I appreciate you. Like, share, leave a comment. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Much obliged. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Afraid of expressing myself. Let's play this out, okay? Hey. Afraid of expressing myself. Because they'll come and get you. Hey! Shit! Can't say it! Hey! You can't do what come in your mind. You can't. Unless you're ready to go to sleep for good. Because they'll come and get you. Afraid of expressing myself. So I appreciate YT giving me the honor and the privilege to say my little shit. It's a lot to talk about in this world. Fucked up. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening.